have to clear the loom from scratch. Okay, so we, we're just working on a very challenging left hand uh, run. Now, let's go ahead and cut out just the right hand and see if we can combine that with our left hand here. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on cutting out. Oops, let's do this again. <laughs> Cancel that, sorry, here we go. Cut that out again, here we go. And we're all set, okay? Copy that over, okay? I hope this isn't too distracting. I'm gonna keep this kind of in the same vicinity as the left hand, because we are gonna combine these eventually, all right? So, right hand, if you recall from our previous lesson, we're doing a three one, a four two, and a five three. A couple reasons for this fingering. Uh, the one of the main ones is the fact is that from the bottom of this note to the top of that note, it's an octave. Okay? Now, the nice thing about the remainder of the right hand is just this simply comes back to the same chord over here. So you can use the same fingering here. See that? And then back to the D flat and F. Okay? Now, instead of going to this same finger, I'm going to ask you to tra use a transition finger because, again, uh, knowing the music, we're going to be having to go up higher in the next measure. So rather than going back to the same fingering, this fingering, the 5 and 3, is good for going back down. But if we want to go up, we're going to need to use a new fingering, okay? I'd like you to change that to a 4 and a 2. So it's going to look like this, okay? Back down to 3, 1. Now, I want you to, if you don't mind, Move up to a four and a two, same notes. You just have to stretch up. See how that gets me ready to move up after that, okay? So if you don't mind, let's do stretch up to there, okay? Now, so we had the left hand, right, and now we have the right hand, okay? Now, here comes the tricky part. We're going to try to combine both hands, and the right hand comes in on strange places with the left hand. So uh, I'm going to recopy this, and I'll try to see if I can use some colors to make it as easy as possible to... Oops, it's not doing that thing again. Let's try that one more time. So use some colors to make it as easy as possible to see where the right hand and the left hand intersect. Okay? Let's copy that. Let's go to a new page over here. All right? We've got this. I'm going to make this nice and big. All right? And stretch it out just a little bit. Here we go. All right. Now, so let's go ahead and sh I'll show you where the intervals, where the hands meet up. From here and here and here. All right? Pretty much as you see visually, it's just lining up. This makes it a little easier to see, okay? Now, let me go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if you've worked on this, I, ideally, you want to kind of memorize this, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you just the fingers that line up, okay, for right now. Two. Two. One. One. Three. Got to remember that we're going to change positions there. Does that make sense? Okay. So I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to try to show you the breaks a little bit with these colors. These three notes. These three notes. Okay. All right, and, and then let's do one more thing. Let's go ahead and just show you these three notes here. And I hope this is not too distracting. And then, of course, if you remember, it's going to be four notes here, okay? And then we're going to use this green for these last two, okay? But the critical thing is to find where the hands uh, intercept. So here we go. Left hand changes first. Now you meet up. Now hand change here. Remember you go down to a one. Now a new one here. And you're going to use a new finger here. I should write that down up on the top, okay? In slow motion, that's basically what's happening. Let's do it. Let me show that to you one more time, okay? See if you can follow along. Jump. Now together. Now together here. together here. I'm going to stretch to a new fingering here, 4-2. Okay, let's do it one more time. I'm not going to use the pedal. It sounds pretty, but let's do it without the pedal so you can better hear the transitions and breaks. Okay, in the left hand. Break. Let's 
see that? Okay, four notes here, and then, okay, and then you just get this a little faster. Okay, and then with time, patience, and practice, you'll be able to move through that, okay? It, it, it will happen. You just need to be patient, take time, and again, don't try to take on too much at a time. The more you're familiar with small portions, the surprisingly the faster you'll make progress. Okay? Very good. I will see you at the next lesson.